this is a short demonstration. We are going to walk you through maximal visual inspection and how we can do edge visual inspections, edge inferencing uh, in a manufacturing context. And we're going to be using MVI Mobile as our edge inspection device. All right, so the workflow we're going to walk you through is going to be outlined right here. So visual inspection, here's maximal visual inspection is in the uh, middle. That's the uh, the engine that makes all of this possible. Uh, the demonstration we're going to have is um, in many manufacturing contexts, we have something that's on the shop floor that's actually uh, you know, controlling operations of the shop floor, but also knows where the parts are, how the assemblies are on the shop floor. So MES Manufacturing Execution Systems, uh, we're going to simulate a trigger from the MES systems with a barcode scanner. Okay. That's going to tell Maximal Visual Inspection Mobile to perform an inspection. The inspection is going to happen on the device itself, so we're not sending pictures back to a remote inferencing server and scoring it and sending those pictures over the uh, network. Uh, all of that inferencing of the AI model is happening on the iPhone itself. Okay, uh, and then lastly, what we can do is uh, VI Mobile also notifies and sends uh, messages that an MES system can uh, can act on. So stop the line, notify the operator. Okay, let me give you a little overview of our demo we got here. Well, here we have Maxwell Visual Inspection Mobile running it on an iOS device. Notice that it's in the cradle. The cradle can be locked. These are all from commercial available products we have available. The box is an outer box. It has a probe clip mount here. Um, you can actually lock that thing down and take the key away, and then uh, that device is physically locked. And then when you put that device under MDM strategy, then it's digitally locked, so it's digitally secured. So, you know, we have a consumer electronics device here. Uh, we've taken a consumer electronics device and turned it into a smart edge sensor, compute sensor. Okay. All right, the models that you're going to see here, they run natively on that phone. So they are not taking pictures, sending it up to the server and scoring them. Uh, we're natively scoring those things, which you'll see here for uh, quick inferencing. All right, my demo here. Uh, demo here is in the automotive assembly operations. There's lots of connectors on cars, and uh, a lot of connectors here, they have different mechanisms for ensuring that they're seated properly. So you'll see a little tab right there. Right, It's a lock mechanism. You'll see in this one here. That, that lock is not engaged. Right? So uh, we have lots of different scenarios, permutations of that. And then folks will actually, uh, what we do is teach them how to train a model for their unique assembly um, and uh, do AI inferencing of quality of that connector. A couple things to note is when you do this, uh, we can actually, like if we were to perform that inspection right there, uh, we would actually inspect both of those connectors off of one model. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, the, we have assembly operation here, and that connector is going to come down the line. We're going to inspect it automatically from that phone to edge device. Okay, the MES system is going to say here, here's my vehicle identification number uh, for each one of those vehicles coming down the line. And then lastly, see over here, this is my ignition um, dashboard. So it's a simulation of whatever the HMI might be for the uh, um, in-station uh, HMI and the PLC controllers and things like that. Okay, our first assembly is going to come down the route. Come down the assembly line. It's got vehicle identification number 23365. You'll see that there. It's queued up for the inspection and it's going to be a Good connector. And then we'll follow it up with the bad connector. We'll see there. Good connector. Get the feedback there that we got a good connector. It's going to be a bad connector. We'll see there that we passed, we failed the inspection. Okay. So if you notice there, what's happening is uh, this is the MES integration. Just think of this as the HMI on the shop floor. It's sending up the messages to trigger the inspection. 
The triggering of the, me of the mechanism uh, inspection happens on the iPhone. Uh, the outcome of the inspection is also sent up as a message, and this HMI actually is sitting here consuming those messages and then notifying the operator uh, whether you have good or bad results from those inspections. Okay, now let's take a look at what happens to those pictures up on the Maxwell Visual Inspection Server. So those two inspections that we took on those two part numbers, or those two parts, uh, that metadata for the VIN number is actually attached to the inspection. So if we wanted to come in here and look at, you'll see this, this is my data set of all the inspections I've taken, taken uh, against this connector. There's 277 inspections on here. But if I wanted to look for the inspection that happened on the vehicle 23368, Right. That VIN number that was part of the notification to say trigger that inspection is also part of the metadata that's tied to the inspection itself. So if I actually want to come in here and look at the individual picture for that uh, vehicle and that assembly, um, I can pull it up right here. And if I wanted to look at the other one, which was 65, here's that one for 65. So the nice thing about that is we've shown how to operationalize it with integration to MES, but we also have a repository for all the inspections and the uh, reference numbers for the serial number that's unique to the assembly is actually attached to the inspection. So you, you have um, this inventory of all these in inspections on the MBI server. So you can come in here and look at uh, all of the serial numbers, all the vehicle identification numbers for those assemblies and the outcomes of those inspections themselves. All right, thank you very much.